Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of fire. Um, so if you're Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of June 26th through the 28th, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, also, those of you that are wanting to book a personal or private reading, payments and orders are collected on Fridays. Uh, so make sure that you email me. Um, if you are wanting to reach me by phone, that is a separate process. Um, the best times to reach me or request the call back are on Mondays and Wednesdays. Secondary days would be Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, so yeah, I apologize in advance because I know it can be difficult to get through. All right, so central issue, heart of the matter, we have strength. We have the three of cups. We have the knight of pinnacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Five of uh, Wands. Mm. Okay, so somebody is playing hard to get. Um, I feel like an offering was made, maybe a peace offering, or maybe someone wanted to get your attention or you wanted to get someone's attention. Uh, regardless, whoever is trying to put that out there, um, the, per the other person is playing hard to get. Um, I feel like maybe <laughs> it looks like somebody is like, hey, hello. <laughs> And the other person is like turning their back like, I didn't hear that. <laughs> I don't hear you. <laughs> you're, uh, I'm, I'm deaf to you or you're silent to me. Be silent. I don't know. I just kind of feel like um, someone is not trying to hear what you have to say. Or you might be feeling like um, you might be doing this to someone. Someone's trying to get your attention. You're like, no, I don't want to talk. Um... I feel like someone is also kind of resisting the urge. Um, so to me, it's saying that there is sexual tension between some people or there's some sort of frustration. There, It's like there is a, a, a magnetism or a magnetic pull between two people, but at the same time, there is resistance. Um, so two magnets that naturally come together are being forced to separate or go separate ways uh, but I feel like for the most part it's more about someone trying to uh, show self-restraint or resist uh, temptation or making someone wait on purpose um, even if it's for career like I feel like if you put your application in maybe you put in some sort of request I feel like I feel like they already know the answer or they already know what they want to do. They're just making you wait and they're making you be patient or they're saying, let me, you know, I'm, I'm going to get back to you, but I, I have to do this first and then I'm, I'm going to give you uh, an answer. So I feel like uh, you're getting nervous and you're overthinking things and you're like, well, which is it? Is it a yes or no? You know, does this person want to be with me or not? Do I have the job or not? Do I have the promotion or not? Do I have the house or not? You know, that there are things that you're um, starting to have anxiety about and overthink things. Um, now, it does look like whatever it is that you're stressed about, you're going to have like some sort of relief. Um, you're going to get some sort of answer, some sort of clarity, and then you're going to feel settled. You're in, in a reason to celebrate. Now also, um, for me, because of a celebration, it, it does look like fireworks. This looks like fireworks. So maybe you're going to find out some sort of news or confirmation around or after the 4th. Um, so the fourth definitely could be significant. 
Now, if you're going to any type of events on the 4th or if you're invited to something, um, I feel like you could make a connection there, but there's going to be tension in the air. I would say you might end up having a one night stand, but I think it's more, I think it's more complex than that. I feel that like if someone invited you to their home or if you were visiting someone at their home, like the sexual tension would be there. Like there, it's like, yeah, you could sleep in my bed, but <laughs> there's no sex though. It doesn't matter, man or woman. I feel like somebody is like holding out like big time. Um, <laughs> even if it comes at the price of putting yourself in pain. So let's just say, for instance, you wanted to get down with somebody so bad and they're at your house. You want it so bad, more than them probably, but you or pride even or ego would make you put yourself through pain rather to give in to their desires. You're like, I want this more than you, but we're not going there. So I feel like there all, there could be some sort of opportunity for um, like a one night stand or you know spending the night at somebody's house, but it may not happen. It is some sort of chemistry or attraction might be too explosive or intense. Even if you're trying to play it cool, I feel like other people around you would. Uh, feel that energy it's like damn I feel some sort of heat I feel the heat in here now that is like the attraction part it could be a situation where it is more negative like people having to work around each other who don't like each other and people are like damn I could feel the tension in the air even if it's supposed to be someone you don't like I still say there's some sort of chemistry that is trying to be avoided um now, I'm also getting competitive energies, so I feel like someone is trying to push you. Someone is trying to push you outside of your comfort zone or doing the most to uh, get a reaction. I don't know exactly what somebody could be doing, and I feel like it works. So if you are trying to get a reaction out of someone, I feel like it works or vice versa. If it's not about a person, but just life in general, I feel like something is happening where spirit is is intentionally making things uncomfortable for you so that you'll get out of your comfort zone and, and do something different. Um, I talk about this a lot for those of you that work nine to fives and you don't want to leave. Maybe you're sitting you're stressing about what's happening in the world you're looking outside you're like this is all i know you know what else what else am i going to do if i'm not working here it's hard to get hired and you know you're thinking about all these things um i feel like that's happening so that you'll get out of your comfort zone things are going to be made uncomfortable for you now for some of you too this looks like you could end up working from home or starting laying down a foundation to your um new business if you're just completely not about working for yourself then you're still being forced outside of your comfort zone to find something else and i do feel like you're going to find something new um i feel like you are going to find that new job a new place to call home um but it's still a little uncomfortable for you because it's not something that you're used to doing um some of you might be wanting to stay in a house or just be in hermit mode, but something might prevent you from doing that this weekend. Maybe you're being forced to go out um, or forced to do something. You're like, damn, I just want to stay in a house. You might be forced to come out of the house, even if it's just for grocery shopping. Um, like you might not be able to do that. Mm. Now, I also see you really having to be patient. And if you are in a situation where it feels stagnant or things just seem so slow to progress, uh, just take that energy and ch ch channel it into something else. Um, 
Maybe you like to write, maybe you like to journal, or maybe you have any type of hobby, exercising. Channel it into that. I see you having to find something else to do with your time because just sitting there waiting, you know, it's not going to make it happen any faster. Um, maybe you keep studying and you're doing all this research and you're trying to um, figure out something in astrology. And you're like, damn, you know, I'm studying astrology. I'm trying to figure it out, but I still can't, you know, figure it out. It's like either way, it doesn't matter if you figure it out or if you don't. The point is you still have to wait for something. You're having to wait for some sort of process. I also feel that you're being prepared for something. You're being prepared for what's to come. Now, I also feel like there may be some sort of changes in your home or your home life. Hmm. So let's say you've just been comfortable being single or being at home, having space to yourself. Maybe you're being prepared to now share your space with someone. Um, if you already live together, it could indicate that now that you aren't going to be going to work all the time, it's official. Now you have to work from home and maybe you and your partner for the first time are having to work in the same space together, trying to find a way to make it work. A living situation does look forced. So I don't know if you are being forced to leave even though you were comfortable in that home maybe there's some sort of construction that needs to be done or maybe you you're staying in your home but there's you know construction work around you and you have to be patient maybe you moved into a new development where there's uh, construction everywhere and you're like damn it when is this when is this project going to be over so i feel like you're definitely being tested with patience um oh my god I feel like I always say that when I do fire and I know somebody's going to call me out. I forgot your name, but I know you're going to say, don't say the P word. <laughs> I'm sorry. It must be for you. This, the message must be for you. <laughs> so yeah, your patience is being tested. Um, hmm. I feel like when you do just allow things to, to fall into place or happen as they should, you're going to find a, a sense of accomplishment. You're going to be proud of yourself like, finally, okay, that was the secret. Patience was the secret, <laughs> you know, so I feel like maybe you think you're being patient, but you're really not. Hmm. Now, there are also things going on where you aren't ready to deal with yourself. Something's happening where you are having to examine yourself, your shadow. And you're like, I don't like this side of me or I don't know who this side of me is. Um, but you're having to overcome those those insecurities or those fears that you have within. If it's about starting a new job, something about this new job is preparing you for your future. You're learning something new about yourself. Um, if it's about a new relationship, this person is going to challenge you. This person is forcing you to learn how to be patient. They're showing you a side of yourself that maybe you didn't know existed. Um, hmm. This can, it can be a good thing, actually. I really feel like whatever you're worried about, you're worried about nothing. You're overthinking something. Stop letting negative voices or negative opinions affect you. Let me look at this five of wands. Some of you are doing something for the first time, um, especially with a partner like that requires you to come out of your shell. 
um, especially maybe for some of you when it comes to your physical appearance. I feel like you're not wanting to show this person your physical appearance. And but it's it's like it, it has to happen at some point if you if you want to do the deed you know it's, it's going down they're going to have to see you so i feel like for some of you this is about being uh self-conscious about a physical appearance um even if it's not even um, not necessarily about you know body weight but maybe there's a a scar or some sort of disfigurement and it's just like i didn't want them to see this i feel like it, it, it's just happening Some of you may have been trying to avoid the past. Um, like opportunities kept popping up or your past has been haunting you. Maybe you've been, you keep trying to skip something. And it's like, spirit is like, you can't skip this part. You can't, you skipped it many lifetimes already. You can't skip it this lifetime. So I feel like some of you keep trying to skip something. And you keep having to deal with the past issue and it won't go away until you confront it like head on. Like something, you need to deal with something directly instead of avoiding it. I also feel like Leo season is going to be significant for some of you. Some of you may have been putting off some sort of decision or something has been ongoing. Something could be going on between you and Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, hmm. I feel like one of you has been trying to get the other person's attention. And like I said, it just, they just have not, they've been taking their time. Somebody's been making you wait on purpose or you have been making someone wait on purpose. I also see a situation where it's more so about having to wait until someone is no longer in a relationship. It's like, I want to be with this person, but I don't want to be with them until um, I've moved on or until I'm out of this relationship. Somebody might be trying to prevent you from being a rebound or maybe you don't want someone to be a rebound, but at the same time, something might feel natural like there might be a natural intense attraction but maybe you feel like it's too soon you're like i just broke up it's too soon for all of that but it's like it's happening maybe you just healed uh from uh, an injury and you know friends or family or the doctors are trying to get you to do something that requires you to work with that arm or that leg that was injured and you're like i'm not ready for that but it's like yeah you're ready get out there again all these negative thoughts are in your head stop overthinking anything that you think is negative is not real it's an illusion Someone is getting nervous about some sort of approaching date um, where you know you have to deal with something or someone. You're like, oh my God, my time is almost up. I'm going to have to... So, and speaking of time being up, I don't know if someone is currently in jail and you know somebody is about to get out of jail and you're like, damn, the minute they get out of jail, I know they're coming straight over here. Or, you know, something along the lines of that, where the minute someone is released from jail, you know, you have to deal with it. Or you know that they're coming towards you and, you know, you got to deal with it. Mm. 
See, like I feel that intuitively as the time gets approaches closer, you're going to start to get nervous about something. Like everything that you've been waiting for or prepared for is getting ready to happen. You're like, this is it. The moment is getting ready to happen. For some of you, it could be about the first time, like getting ready to, you know, have sex with somebody for the first time or kiss some someone for the first time or whatever stage the relationship was in, like it's time to move forward. It's time to step it up. Maybe it's time for an engagement and someone knows that that is time. It's like it's time to ask them. It's time to pop the question. I, I can't. This can't keep going. Hmm. Maybe someone is getting jealous. They're like, man, I know they're going to move on. Like they're seeing all their other friends um, getting married. And I know they're going to it's going to be an argument about it. And, you know, they're they're going to give me an ultimatum and. So something's going on where you're getting nervous as the date approaches. It could be about having a baby, starting a new job, purchasing your first home. If there's been some sort of silent war going on between folks, people not talking to each other something you know something's ha getting ready to happen I don't know if you've been dreaming or having premonitions or if there's a, a, a time and a place where you always run into these people or this person and you know it's inevitable you're like man I knew this was coming and I, I, I knew I, I tried to brace myself you can handle it whatever this is Everything has been in divine timing. Yeah. So I feel like don't worry so much. Stop overthinking things. Just kind of allow things to play out and you'll be fine. Um, okay, so let me look at some energy cards for you guys all right what additional messages are there for Aries Leo Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising for this Friday Saturday and Sunday You've got woman holding a coin, deceit, blossoming abundance, central issue anxiety. So again, you guys are stressing about nothing. Um, stop feeding into those negative thoughts the more you feed into negative thoughts the stronger they get the more they consume you um so i feel like you know get a hold of them i'm gonna say get a hold of yourself yeah it, it's just the the thought process that's scaring you there i feel like there's you might be coming off as very calm on the outside um but there's a storm brewing I also just heard you can't fool, you can't fool me. So I don't know if you are trying to fool someone or if someone is trying to fool you. Maybe you can detect someone's nerves or their feelings. Hmm. I would still say be careful with who you loan money to or what you purchase something in regards to finances something seems deceitful uh, or unless maybe you're making your your money in a way that is deceitful and you're nervous wondering if you're going to get caught like am i going to get caught so that might be where your nerves are coming from 
Um, maybe you don't trust what someone is trying to offer you because you feel like they're being deceitful and maybe they are. Hmm. I feel that someone is trying to manipulate you some type of way. Oh my goodness. I don't know if someone's trying to pay you for something. Hmm. I feel like someone's trying to pay you for something or bargain and something is deceitful about how they're paying for something. See, this is making me, don't y'all be calling me if y'all don't have no money on a credit card. That made me want to say something like right there. But seriously, <laughs> no offense. Wait till you got some money. But um, this does make me feel like someone is either paying you with a stolen credit card if you are if you do have the type of business that you know you well you have your own business where you have clients and people pay for things uh, or this could be your energy maybe you are trying to pass something off as real when it's fake maybe you go to the pawn shop and you're like yeah it's real and it's not real and they're examining it and you're like are they gonna discover that it's fake um Maybe there's something deceitful about a coworker or client, but it looks like it has to do with a monetary exchange. If you are someone who buys and trades, sales, be careful of the product that is coming in because something might be a knockoff or, oh, I just don't, I, I'm not trusting that. Um, I do like blossoming abundance. I do like blossoming abundance. I feel like maybe this is indicating that by you trusting your gut, you're going to make the right decision here. Hmm. Okay, so I'm also getting that someone is promising you a lot of things. Someone is making some sort of promise. They're promising they can give you a bunch of stuff. Let me see what else. Someone is saying that they can do this for you or do that for you. I think what it is is that it's just unorthodox. However somebody is helping you, I feel like there is an unorthodox way, but it might actually work. Mm. One more. Yeah. Huh. It's still something strange about this deceit. I feel like everything's going to turn out okay, put it that way. Um, but there's someone around you that is coming off as deceitful. Hmm. And I also feel like, like I was saying earlier, something about you're not fooling anyone or you can't fool me. So maybe you're able to see through someone's deceit or maybe someone is able to see th through yours, but they're being patient. They're like, I'm not gonna judge you for it. I'm gonna bless you, matter of fact. I'm gonna bless you. <laughs> like I know that you're being deceitful or you know that you have this type of personality, but I'm gonna be patient with you. So see, all that patience has been preparing you for what you've got to deal with. Um, maybe your partner is a deceitful person. Maybe your clients are somehow deceitful. But something does look like it pays off. That's all I can say. Um, that's all I can say. So hopefully these messages make sense for you feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe many blessings to you